Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please look in the description beneath this video for useful links to other videos and resources to help you learn chemistry. For today's video, I'm going to teach you how to answer the question shown here. I invite you to pause the video right now and try this question on your own first, then hit play and I'll show you how to do it. If our principal quantum number n equals four, then what are the possible azimuthal quantum numbers l? This is actually a lot easier than you might think. So as I explained in an earlier video, linked to in the description below or floating over my head somewhere, there are only four possible values for L. Those four right there. If L equals zero, then you're talking about S orbitals. If it's one, then you're talking about P orbitals. If it's two, you're talking about D orbitals. And if it's three, you're talking about F orbitals. So what possible values of L can I have if N equals four? To answer that question, all I have to do is place a four next to each of these letters and ask if each of these orbitals exist. Is there such a thing as a 4s orbital? Well, looking at the chart shown right here and applying the principles I taught in another past video, linked to in the description below or floating over my head right here, is there such a thing as a 4s orbital? Yeah, you can see 4s orbitals in my electron configuration happen right here. So the answer is yes. How about 4ps? Are there 4ps looking at this chart? Yes, there are. How about 4ds? Yes. And what about 4fs? Absolutely, the lowest energy level you can have and still hit an f orbital is n equals four. That is a four f, because all these first numbers you see in these electric configurations, those are the n or principal quantum numbers. So it turns out for n equals four, you could possibly have any of the four types of orbitals, which means the correct answer for this question is all four of those, potentially zero, one, two, and three. Now out of curiosity, what if we changed n's number here to three, then what? Well, let me ask, is there such a thing as a three f? The answer, as you can see in this chart, is no. There's no such thing as a 3f, so you'd have to cross off the f thing right here. You could only have 0, 1, and 2 s, p's, and d's, because indeed there is such a thing as 3s, 3p's, and 3d's. Yeehaw!